gonna happen out here, all right? So basically what I did is I showed you guys how to do this and set this up, but I didn't complete it. And so what I wanna do is show you when you have 7% of a number, again, you're looking for a number out of 35 that is equivalent to 7% out of 100%. So your X is this as a number. What number out of 35 is he gonna be equivalent to 7% out of 100%? So when you create your cross product, you have 35 times 7% equals 100%. Now, which might have been a little bit easier as far as multiplying, I had you guys convert your 7% to a decimal and multiply across. But let's look at it a different way. If I do my cross product, and I do, let's do multiply 35 times 7%. So if I have 35 times 7%, all right? If I multiply 35 times 7%, what I'll have is going to be the exact same answer I had here. I'll have 245%. What the heck is that? So therefore, I have 245% equals 100x%. percent. Now, to solve for x, I divide by 100%. Right? Well, guess what, guys? Just like anything else, when you're doing it, you, for those of you that are in physics and in the science class, you should be a little bit more familiar with this. Percent divided by a percent is going to eliminate the percents. Right, Tristan? Do you understand that? So my percents are now not a part of my answer. And then to divide by 100, when we multiply by 100 from scientific notation, we move that decimal point over, right, to the right. So if we're dividing by 100, I'm going to move this decimal point to the left, which gives me 2.45. Make sense? So there are going to be times, ladies and gentlemen, that we're going to ask for the percent. There are going to be times that we are going to